Greetings, YouTube. I'm be talking about a news piece that came out of September that was referencing to an event that happened in August. So, an atheist airman at Creech Air Force Base in Nevada was denied reenlistment last month, which is August, for refusing to take an oath containing "So help me God." The American Humanist Association said on Thursday. Um, another poll quote: "This is unconstitutional and, and, and unacceptable." The AHA said. That is correct. The government cannot compel a non-believer to take an oath that affirms the existence of a supreme being, Miller said. Numerous cases affirm that atheists have the right to emit atheistic language from enlistment or re-enlistment contracts. And I, I, I have to completely agree there, even though, and I have said this before, I'm a theist, and I disagree with the atheist worldview, but I will defend their right to hold that worldview. Because we should have not only the freedom of religion in America, but the freedom from religion. For example, the phrase, in God we trust, should not be on our currency. There we go. Um, however, there is a happy ending here. Now, that article I just pulled quotes from was from September 2nd. On September 17th, we have, um, we have another one. This is from the whole name in there. Yeah, it is. This is a great name. Um, we will ple We are pleased to uh, that the U.S. Department of Defense has confirmed our client has a First Amendment right to omit the reference to a supreme being in his enlistment oath, said Monica Miller, an attorney with the American Humanist Association's Apignani Humanist League Center. We hope the, the Air Force will respect the constitutional rights of atheists in the future. That's a really long name. I would not want to have to have that my, at my on my letterhead every every time I, I fired up a letter to somebody, um, nor have to introduce myself that way. But it's good to see that the Air Force reversed its position. Now, what's also interesting is apparently this was the norm at one time that you didn't have to say the oath, and then in October of last year, for the Air Force alone, that ceased to be the be the, the case and that people had to start using God we trust. Now most Americans, 78% of Americans consider themselves to be some variety of Christian. So many of them would probably be um, completely fine with saying that phrase. Many, many might not even notice it. Some of them may be theists that think that it's inappropriate that the government is requiring them to say this and may have balked at it but have gone along with it anyway. I don't know how many cases in the past where this has been um, something that was that was discussed. But in this particular case, this atheist airman wanted to re-enlist, and he did not feel that he was should be compelled to take an oath to a supreme being, and I agree with them. The U.S. government is secular, and it needs to remain secular, completely secular, from top to bottom, and every little step in between. We should not endorse, support, or deny the existence of any religions. The U.S. government simply not be in the religion business. Separation of church and state completely that's the best way to protect both religions and the state it's the healthiest of all possible worlds and I'm glad to see that the US Air Force has decided to hop on that bandwagon and respect the separation of church and state as our founding fathers did they did that intentionally folks it wasn't a mistake it wasn't something that slipped through through them by some communist time traveler they saw in the real world what happens when governments get involved in religion and when religions get involved in governments, bad things happen. So, kudos Air Force. I'm glad you fixed this mistake. I'm glad that hopefully in the future you will not make it again. This is a positive thing. Now, let's get that phrase off our currency.